Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 5th June. Uncertainty is gone. NDA has unanimously selected Mr. Modi as the next PM. He will probably be sworn in on Saturday. So the biggest speculation of last one or two weeks is out. For now, it is back to BAU mode. Yes, the coalition partners will have their say in policy making. Yes, the India bloc will have a higher presence in the Lok Sabha. Yes, there are state elections coming up. Now we can keep worrying about what will happen in the next five years, but that will happen over five years. There is a lot of time to react to all of that. In line with my video, which I released on Sunday, I did a major refactoring of my portfolios. These are spread across four or five DMAT accounts across my family. These are the latest holdings in terms of investment, just as a disclaimer, but these keep changing rapidly. Whenever I talk about any specific stock, I do mention whether it's a part of my portfolio or not, but do know that these positions are very volatile and I rapidly change based upon market conditions. Major holdings are in aerospace and defense and banking services. Banking services includes the microfinance space also. My biggest spending in last few days has been in the consumption space. Companies like Britannia, Nestle, HUL, Page Industries. These I will probably retain for the long run. Even KRBL is the same pack. It is the largest Basmati rice company in the country. This is the graph for Nifty from January of this year. This is where the calendar year started. Literally between January and February, there was no net gain in the indices. After that, market started their up journey. It was a continuous up and down kind of journey. Once you zoom out, you can see the patterns. This was a break in the pattern, a huge fall yesterday. I would still call it an aberration, not a fall because markets have recovered significantly. We are literally at the same levels we were about a week back. So if the policy decisions go well with the market and the stable government continues, then we should be looking at the next bump up. I do expect the budget to be a landmark budget. So you may want to take the positions in line with the July event now. July will also be Q1 results. This is today's chart. Day started with a dip. However, market recovered soon. After 9.30, it was literally up only. Minor consolidation phase, but continuous up. Note that these candles were very large in size, 100-200 point candles. This is very abnormal. These are not normal things. Don't get used to these patterns. The patterns will change from tomorrow or maybe next week. Tomorrow will probably be another volatile day because of the weekly expiry. Significant people may still have open short positions. FIDI data has just come in. FII sold again today in continuation to yesterday. Total 11,200 crore sold in just two days. AIS resumed the buying today. They had sold yesterday. One thing to note here is that these are very large size sales, 26,000 crores and followed by 21,000 crore buy. Yesterday it was a 40,000 crore sell. My theory still continues whatever they bought yesterday, today market was up. A part of it was sold for a good handsome profit of 5, 10, 15, 20%, whatever is the number. And a part of that money was reinvested for the next set of trades. So in this case, 5,000 was the profit which they took out. Nifty up 3.36%, Bank Nifty up 4.5%, Gold slightly up. I was expecting Gold to actually go down a bit today. I was planning to buy a little, but it went up 72,000. Brent had cooled down significantly yesterday. Today it was up slightly. 77.72 these are live rates silver literally no change bitcoin above 70,000 nvidia i think is getting very close to being the second largest company now ahead of apple this is the graph for bank nifty fell a little in the morning and then went up continuously slight dip profit booking towards the end vix i had mentioned it will be very volatile today 29.4 percent change for that day today it was the time to fall in line with the huge buying that happened throughout the day Sector snapshot is looking really funny today. 3rd of June, all 36 sectors were up. Yesterday, nearly all the sectors were down. Today, again, all 36 sectors were up. There's a significant amount of money people would have lost or not earned if they didn't get these moves right. In today's rally, the biggest contribution came from banking services. No surprise there. It was a bank nifty expiry today as well. Large banks like HDFC, ICICI were up 4.5-3.5%. The sector was up 3.75%. Oil and gas reliance was not up too much, but still 1.7% on reliance has a good enough weightage. ONGC, IOC, all of them recovered. The sector was up 2%. With the uncertainty gone, metals and mining were back. 
people no longer expect demand compression all stocks were up anywhere between 5 to 7% steel authority was up most at 9.4% today it moved infosys hcl wipro everyone was up nearly 2 3% tcs was up a little only but that's a big heavy weight auto rallied mahindra and mahindra hero tvs mothers and sumi all of them were up more than 6% the big boys Maruti and Tata were up nearly 2.5 to 3% as well. Automobile sector up 4%. Personal and household products, this sector held up yesterday as well. Today there was a continued rally. HUL up 4.5%, Godrej 6%. While the sector was up 4.7%, that's the top 7 8 stocks. There was a bigger rally outside as well. Companies like Nestle, they were up significantly. I didn't expect it, but the defensive pharma was up 3.5% today. Real estate selective stocks went up. Telecom, nearly everyone was up. Vodafone has been going through a good patch. It was up 12.5%. Indus Tower, after the tough talk from Sunil Mittal, where he has said Vodafone will get services from Indus Tower only if they pay their dues, that was up 8%. Vodafone has raised money and there is now a huge probability of Indus Tower getting its dues back from Vodafone. Construction and engineering, aerospace and defense. These sectors were up least today for the simple reason that with the coalition government at the center, people expect that the government spending into infrastructure and defense will slow down. Nothing noticeable in construction and engineering, aerospace and defense besides HL, BEL and Musgaon Dock. The other players were actually down significantly. 33 of the 36 sectors that I tracked were up more than 1% today. Nifty 50, this is the first time zero stocks in the red. Contribution was highest by HDFC Bank today, 9%. Reliance contributed 5.4% to the rally today, followed by ATL, ICICI, HUL. Least contributions came from BPCL, LNT, TCS, Power Grid, Ultratech Cement. This week probably will be known for the volumes. All the big contributors had huge volumes. Today, NSE created a record and it handled the highest number of transactions in a single trading day. These volume patterns clearly are responsible for that spike. Adani Green was up most 11%. Adani Energy was down most 2.65%. Same group, both companies related to energy. Consumption stocks, Trent was up 8%, United Spirits 8%. Volumes of Nifty, Next 50 were not as high as Nifty 50, more than 100% in most cases, however not as high as Nifty 50. IT index, everything green, led by persistent 6.4% up. Energy index, besides Adani Energy, everything was up. Bank index, everything was up, volumes were good. Indescent was the largest gainer, 8% up. Today, the private banking space was rocking. These are large players with good market cap, up 6 to 7 percent. Besides the rally, one possible reason was also that today was the expiry for Bank Nifty, the first one for the month of June, and significant short positions existed in the markets as of yesterday. Besides Indian Bank, which was down very little, all the public sector banks were up as well, but not that high compared to Monday. Monday, the sector was rocking, then it fell a lot on Tuesday. Not as much recovery as I was expecting. Volume patterns were good. SBI's volumes were more than 3x. PNB 2.3x. Bank of Broda 3x. So there was a significant demand. Today's trades, I started with 25,000 loss. About 65,000 of the loss was booked yesterday itself. Good day today, minus one or two small losses. The day went well. Overall profit for the day, 1.45 lakh. The election season, three days have yielded approximately 2.9 lakh profit. I'm talking about options here. This profit could have been 4 lakh just yesterday, but I messed up big time with one specific trade. Overall satisfied with the outcome. However, today was not an easy day because there was a significant recovery I had to do in the positions because I started the day with a lot of losses. So total five pages of trades. Based upon the trades of last three days, I thought that I'm still not a good trader. There are three things that I still need to fix. The first one, all of us need to back conviction with patience. Don't tap out. Last few days, my readings have been spot on and I have tried to stay put with losses also for significant time. I have been able to hold on to losses, but when I see profits, I book profits very quickly. As a result, I have lost out on four or five lakhs rupees kind of positions nearly daily because I book profits too early. There's a lurking fear all of us have that the money in front of us, which is our money after the trade, will evaporate if the markets change directions. Many of us cling on to losses, average down, 
but most of us sell the profitable positions ASAP. I am still doing it. I need to fix this very soon. Avoid greed at day level. What I mean by this is once you have made three, four good trades on decent money, stop for that day or at least take a one hour, two hour break. Let markets play out and change direction if they want to, but don't book profits on a trend and then take another trade on the same trend. It will eventually lead to losses only. I mentioned that yesterday that at a point my profits were more than 4 lakh. However, they fell to nearly 2 lakh towards the end of the day. Lost nearly 50% of my profit because of one or two bad trades. Again, in those cases also, I was holding on to bad trades. Go with that trend. Today, the positions were going fine. At one point, I thought that market has increased significantly. Let me short. That short position was loss making. So when you are trading up for the day, don't try to make money out of minor falls. If the markets are falling down and if you are short, don't try to make minor money in the market pullbacks. Go with one trend. You will be more confident with those trades. Market should come back to stability unless one of the two chief ministers from Bihar and Andhra Pradesh change their mind. I don't expect a stellar 10, 15, 20% kind of rally continuing after this. Now the markets will become sector specific and stock specific. There could be big bang announcements. As of now, stay put, don't take any further very large positions. Wait for markets to settle down. From tomorrow, I also might move away from nifty and become stock specific in the cash segment. Also, I hope I'll be able to stick to my promise to myself that don't take uncovered positions from tomorrow which is buying options, hedge them if I'm gonna take the options trades. I had mentioned that I had stopped just for this week because of the huge premiums and huge moves where being an option seller would have been really expensive and risky. Hope you're enjoying the roller coaster. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.